like for hours like first of all the, the, the permit was from noon to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. and they showed up at 9 o'clock in the morning and we showed up at 9 o'clock in the morning and fights were already happening between 9 a.m. and noon to the point where the police declared it an unlawful gathering by noon because the violence was already so out of control that they were even though the city like it had gone to court and the ACLU had stood up for their right to have this permit like there was unlawful behavior going on before their permit time even started and so when we when that happened it was just hours of like people fighting in the streets and there was no police intervention there was no like there was literally no intervention at all like no and that's what we've always said that's part of anti-fascism it's like it's our job to keep ourselves safe and our community safe and it wasn't just Antifa in the street, it was Antifa, it was Black Lives Matter, chapters from all around the region. IWW. IWW, Democratic Socialists, uh, and a lot of people from the community, a lot of civil rights organizations. So, when, it, when on Saturday did you start to realize that things were getting out of control? Give me, give me one second, let me, let me read this. <laughs> I got spoiled, bro. <laughs> Seriously, it ain't been that hot this summer for real, man. I got spoiled. I mean, not not recently. It ain't been that hot. So okay, yeah. So when did y'all? When? You, so y'all got there on on Saturday. So when when did you start to realize that things were gonna we're get, we're gonna hit the fan? And the point when things hit the fan. They hit the fan immediately. So you, as soon as y'all got there and y'all... Nazis are coming out of the park and attacking people. With shields and sticks. But actually when the car situation happened, like, we didn't think things were out of hand. We didn't see them. For those, for those like, around the world who don't know what the car situation is. So... Explain, like, because this, well, this I is can, going to yeah. go global. Sure, I can tell you from... Okay. Yeah, just take your time. I'm editing all this yeah, out yeah. as far as... I mean, I, I, I'd honestly say like we had it handled in the park because yeah. they couldn't, they kept trying to attack people and they kept getting pushed back into the park and they kept getting beat up. You know, and again, the police did nothing. They were begging the cops to let them back in the park. Remember? Yeah. And the cops would not let them back in the park. They were pushing them out with their riot shields and the fash was trying to get back into the park because we were all out on the street and they didn't want to come out in the street and deal with us. I'm still tripping off that the, the cops is just letting all this anarchy go on. I mean, I, I don't know if anarchy is the right word, but like this chaos, this melee. chaos, yeah, this I mean, chaos go on without like, hold up. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't pull guns on people. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't run up and be like, hold up. You can't pull guns on people. Like, I'm just still they amazed just about us, that. They let us go at it. Not saying that I believe that the cops are these, <laughs> these, these, uh, virtuous people but <laughs> but we've been to you know we've been to protests yeah michael newby you know what i'm saying like they wasn't letting well they they're arresting, pe they're arresting people for like, turning over yeah. a garbage can yeah. you know <laughs> that's because y'all are black even yeah. with the michael newby it was white people getting arrested too for that yeah, like, but remember <laughs> they arrested all the white people on purpose right so that they could act like the white people are the ones who incited that riot so that they it made it clear it made it look like black people weren't actually concerned about police brutality. Right. And it was just a bunch of white anarchist kids. Mm -hmm. Which is not, was not the case, but. <clears throat> so back to Saturday. So y'all get there and it's chaos from the beginning. It's just, it's home. It's home, yeah. motherfucker. Like, well, they like West Side first. Story, it's home. Like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, pretty much, yeah. And they, we pushed them out of the park, back in the park, and the, the cops, riot cops pushed them out of the park. And there was fighting continued, and then they were escorted out by the three percenters, three percent militia. What is I would say some of this terminology? Just explain it. I know you they're, know it, but like a lot of people, like in Australia and South yeah, America, yeah. don't really know what some of this terminology. Are, 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 they're a patriot, they're an American patriot militia. And they see themselves as constitutionalists and protectors of the First Amendment 
the Second Amendment, but they're there to always, they're always there with the fascists to protect their First Amendment rights to speak. You don't ever see them show up when we want to speak, you know, when we want to have a rally. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, and the, they escorted those Nazis out of there under, under like, armed escort. You know, they're all in their flak jackets with, like, military gear, AR rifles. <clears throat> Right. So, so they, by the time, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. So you saying the three percenters got there or were, were there? They, they had been there. They had been on site, you know, and there had been threats issued by them towards us for weeks, you know, like we'll open fire on Antifa if they cross the line, blah, blah, blah. And they, they always, there's always that rhetoric. They didn't do anything to us. Like we, we beat back the Nazis and they just stood there. I think honestly they were just terrified. I don't know. I mean, a street fight's a lot different than trolling somebody on the internet. I just don't think they're used to it. You know? The other thing is these these people don't know how to be in the street. Like they don't know how to be in the street. They like, pe you know, like you watch somebody like push like like push the button to like mace somebody when a gust of wind is headed in their direction, and so you're macing somebody, and the wind just like blows it all back in your face, and you're like, you've never done this before, have you? Like. <laughs> This is your first time. No bandanas and no like. <laughs> Not the, I mean, no yeah. water bottles and stuff. Yeah, like. I mean it was just a lot of. Yeah, there was a lot of people not knowing how to be in the street on their side. Well, and by the time they got out of that park, they ended up they all left and regrouped at another 